Hi, I am Anna Malai and welcome back to Making the Right Connection. Our series exploring the role of connection and control components in your control panels. Today, we will discuss how to select the right interface solutions for your applications. Before we dive into the selection process, let's understand the fundamental purpose of these interface solutions. They serve as essential intermediaries between control systems and loads, allowing you to efficiently manage high power devices with low power signals. They provide electrical isolation and ensure the safety of your equipment. These solutions play a pivotal role in turning equipment on or off, making them integral to automation and control systems. Interface solutions like relay boards, slim relay modules, and modular relays find applications across a wide range of industries, including machinery and factory automation, power, building and infrastructure, transport, and more. They are used in various applications such as variable frequency drive panels, PLC panels, safety and security systems, and beyond. These solutions are crucial for managing and controlling various electrical devices and processes. Given this diversity in industry and applications, Interface solutions come with various features and specifications to cater to the different needs that this diversity calls for. I typically divide the selection factors into two parts. The first is determining the exact type of relays needed in the control circuit. And the next is more about the features expected from the overall interface solution. Beginning with the relay, the very first thing to identify is the control method needed in the relay used in the interface. That is to determine whether your control system needs a mechanical or solid state relay. Mechanical relays are suitable for high power and low frequency switching applications, while typically solid state relays are ideal for fast, precise and noiseless switching. Next comes the contact form or contact configuration. We need to identify what type of a relay contact is required from the interface. This of course is also based on your application's logic and requirements. If you need to connect a load through a signal, choose normally open contacts. If you need to disconnect a load through a signal, choose normally closed contact. If you need to do both, you can choose a changeover contact, which will have both NO and NC through a common terminal. The number of contacts needed is also an important factor. This too needs to match your application's demands without overcomplicating the system. You can choose the number of contacts of the relay being used based on the number of signals you want to switch simultaneously with a single command. As an example, if you want two signals, you can use two changeover or two NO or two NC contacts. Common number of contacts found in relays are one, two, and four. Selecting a solution with a coil voltage that matches your control voltage for seamless activation and deactivation of relay is very important. As else, you may end up needing an additional power converter. Typically, Relays have coil voltages ranging from 5 to 230 volts, both in AC and DC, depending on your application and often the industry standard. Equally important is determining whether the relays in the interface solutions being chosen can handle resistive, inductive, or capacitive loads at the specified levels. An additional feature of relay that may be worth paying attention to is the contact material. You may need to consider the contact material based on the load type and control requirements. For example, as if you are using a low current with low frequency switching load, AGNI or AGNI 9010 would be sufficient. However, for loads with high current and frequent switching, you may need to choose AGE SNO2 contacts. For pure inductive switching, AG with gold plated contacts is often required. This avoids the welding of contacts due to arcs while switching. Moving on to the features, one may need to examine the interface solution for. Here are some of the features you must consider. First off, identify the exact form factor that the interface solution needs to have. This is determined by the limitations in the control panel space. Also, ensure that the interface solution you choose can withstand your application's environmental conditions, including temperature, humidity, exposure to particulate pollutants and chemicals, etc. You may need to check if the solution provided meets your application's physical conditions. As an example, if the application has too many vibrations, then the interface needs to be tested for the situation and may need to have physical attributes that make it suitable for vibrations. Next, ensure that the solution complies with industry standards and certifications required for your application to maintain safety and legality. You may even require region-specific approvals on your solution like CE, UL, 
etc. Consider if the solution needs an LED indication for the relay on or relay off condition. Do ask yourself if your application calls for additional protection components like varistors or fuses or snubbers to be installed on either the input or output side of the interface. You may even want to consider areas like maintenance and services of the solutions in case of an adverse event in your selection. As an example, there are solutions available with both permanently soldered relays and pluggable relays. You may consider features like how marking is carried out on the interface solution chosen for ease of identification and maintenance. One more important thing to consider is the connection technology used on the wiring points from screw type or spring type to even push-in type connections are available. It is precisely these variations in applications and therefore configurations of relay interfaces which has been the impetus for us at Connectwell to develop a wide range of relay interfaces. Let me give you a quick overview of our relay interface offerings. First up is the CSR series, compact slim relay modules. These are designed and built for saving panel space. As you can see that each of these modules has a width of 6 to 12 mm based on the contact type selected as one changeover or two changeover, making them the slimmest modules available on the market and saving up to 66% of controlled panel space. Next come the CRM series, high performance relay modules. While these relays too are modular, they are designed to carry higher current loads and have longer rated operational lives. The CIMRE series, next generation relay boards comes in completely enclosed design unlike traditional relay boards and are IP20 compliant. These relay boards are optimized and built to deliver value. Our IMRE series of custom relay boards offers the ability to be customized for absolutely any applications that you may have in mind. They offer the greatest degree of flexibility in terms of the choice of relays, connection technology, safety circuitry, installation of additional electronic components and circuits and so on. I hope I was able to add to your knowledge on usage of electrical and control components today and hope to see you next time when we talk about specific interface solutions and their unique features that may benefit your applications. Till next time, stay healthy, stay connected.